we had to cut down the banana plant. But let's take a look and see what's inside. Hey, this is Frank with Simply Bananas. Welcome back. We're deep in the banana patch and we are going to take a look and see what's inside of a banana plant. Let me flip the camera around. So this is a Rajapuri. It's a dwarf banana and this is the naked bloom. That of course is the bud. And these are the bananas. And this is the rest of the stump. So it's not gonna do any good. We're gonna go ahead and take it down. But the good news is right around the corner here is another bloom of a Rajapuri. Super excited about that one. And that one has quite enough leaves to get us where we need to go. Okay, these are my implements of destruction. We've got the Sawzall, we've got the machete, and we've got the hook. And I'll show you what the hook's about a little bit later. So first we're gonna start with the Sawzall. All right, here we go. Okay, now that this bad boy's down, let's take a look at that stump. These are the interlocked leaves. That is the main core or the stem, the true stem. That uh, liquid you see on there is called banana blood. Don't get it on your clothing. So let's open this bad boy up. All right, so these are the modified leaves. You can see almost in a quarter to a half inch thick little chambers in there, quite good for insulation. That's why a lot of times these cores don't freeze. Then this is the actual stem. It's solid. There are no more of the accordion leaves in there. And again, this moisture is the banana blood. You don't want to get it on you. It'll stain your clothes forever. This is uh, what provides all the nutrition to the fruit uh, from the roots. It goes all the way up the stem out into the banana bloom, the flowers, and the fingers. All right, now you know what's inside of a banana plant. You know what the leaves and the core that's connected to this. Hope it wasn't like Al Capone's vault, if you remember that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. So check out these videos.